What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been a while since I posted about my about doing any engine work or working on the, the motor for my square body, but here it is. I have got most of it together. So I got all the accessories put on. So got the AC on, got everything straight. Water pump, got the accessories bracket on. So, and I did have to relocate um, this. So it used to be on this right here, but to fit the LS3 water pump, I had to cut this off. So I cut this off um, and I bought this. Uh, I can't remember where I bought it from. I'll look to see where I bought it from, but got this and a belt. I got all this stuff off of the, off Tejas steel mounts, um, LS swap guy for the square body. So everything fit really, fit good, no issues. Um, I had already put the motor mounts and stuff on, but I had to take them off because I had to get this bolt in right here. So to get that on, I had to take these back off. So no biggie, I took them off. Um, so I did get the cold, what's it called? Cold, cold hose adapters. Let's see if I can find them real quick. I'll find them in a little bit and then I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But um, they actually stick out and go this way, that way, because um, the the exhaust will be right here. And that way it stick up forward and I'll be able to connect connect the, um, the AC lines to it. But yeah, everything came along good. Like I said, I got those broken um, header bolts out. Got the flex plate put on, got all new sensors in. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the, get the transmission straight. So I do have a torque converter. So I'm gonna take that torque converter and I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna take this one off, uh, fill it up, and then I'm gonna make the transmission and the engine together. Uh, today I'm also finally getting around to cleaning and painting the fuel tanks. So that's on the agenda for today. Uh, I may start wiring up the, the fuel pumps with the sending units, we'll see, but I finally got this one in. So I ordered this months ago and it finally got back in stock. And so, um, and that's that's the one for the driver's side. So, so I'll start messing with that. But I also, the guy that was supposed to get my engine decided he didn't want to get it because he went LS as well. So I've just had this engine sitting out here since we pulled it out of the truck. But um, I put it on Facebook Marketplace last night um, with everything for like 350 and I got over like 75 messages. It's crazy. So I actually got a guy on the way now to come pick it up. So once he pick it, picks that up, then I'll go ahead and I'll, um, I'll start messing around with with my engine and this transmission uh, because I need the engine hoist to do that. But uh, but yeah, everything came out good. I did buy all new accessories. So everything you see is brand new. Uh, power steering, alternator, water pump, and AC, all this is new. Um, yeah, so, all right, let me, let me, uh, this guy's supposed to be pulling up here pretty soon. So as soon as he pulls up, I'll come back and we'll start start working on this thing all right so the the engine is gone the guy picked it up earlier so uh it did still have all the transmission fluid in so it spilled all over my driveway so i put down some of that stuff that that absorb it up and then i'm gonna pressure wash it probably tomorrow i have to let it sit so but yeah the engine is finally sold um and then today i've just been working on the, the gas tanks so i got this one painted up And I'm about to start working on this one. I'm about to start painting it. I already cleaned it up. Got all that gunk that comes on it from the factory. So 
and then I scuffed it up. You can see a little bit right there where it's scuffed. So I scuffed it with this little sanding block just to try to get it so the paint will stick. So now I'm gonna take the, take the paint and then we're gonna go ahead and get this thing going. Okay, so now I'm back over here messing with the transmission as I'm letting the, the fuel tanks dry before I bring them back inside. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this old torque motor um, and I'm gonna put this new one in that I have. So uh, that's the plan now. Um, as you can see, it is fluid. I did put it on this tray and the only reason it's leaking is because I got it turned on the side and it was leaking out the um, out where the, the holes are for the, the steam line. I mean, not the steam lines, the cooler lines. Um, and as well as with a speedometer. I think this is, no, the dipstick, where the dipstick goes right there. So, no biggie. So I'm gonna pull this out and then I am gonna put the new one in. Um, I know they say you gotta, you gotta hear the clicks and then you gotta measure it. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and try to do that now. All right, so I got it off. That looks nice and clean up in there. So I got off the old one, and this is a remanufactured transmission. Uh, the van that it came out of only had uh, 70,000 miles on it. So I'm not sure when this did get um, remanufactured, but it did because there's the stamp right there uh, when they remanufactured it and then they tested it and then uh, the torque converter actually says it on there as well. Let's see if you can read that. So it says remanufacture, but what I did was I went with a little bit taller stall. I can't remember the exact information on it. Uh, I have to go back and look. Uh, but this one is remanufactured as, as well. Uh, being that I did go with the stage two, I didn't need a really uh, high stall. So uh, I went with this one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill this one up with oil and then I'm going to get it installed. Um, I know you it says you should hear three clicks. Sometimes you only hear two clicks, uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pour some transmission fluid in here. I think it said one quart. I'm going to try to put one quart in here and then I'm going to try to stick this back on here. Um, after I do that, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and mate them together and then... Uh, put the whole engine and trans over here so I can put put the engine and trans over there. That way I can put the truck right here where I'm sitting now. Um, I do need to still paint the truck so the paint the um, the inside of inside of the truck. So I am gonna paint the area. I'll probably do that tomorrow and the following day. So I'll take those two days to paint uh, and then we're gonna start working on putting this thing inside the truck. So, all right, let me put this torque converter on and then we'll come back. All right, what's up y'all? So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put this converter on. What I, converter in, what I did was I did fill it up. Um, I filled it up so I can see it. So it's almost, it's almost, uh, almost a whole quart that I put in here. Uh, you're not supposed to do it dry. So what I'm gonna do now is stick it in. And if you see these ridges right here, there's one on this side and then there's one on this side. They have to engage all the way inside in the pump. So you can't really see it, but you're gonna go through, they say at least three clicks. Um, and if you don't engage it all the way, what it'll do is it'll mess up the pump on the inside, your front pump. So, um, Hopefully I can do this without spilling transmission fluid everywhere, but I do have this thing right here. So let's give it a shot. So let's say you do it straight. So we got it in a little bit. There's one, there's two, there's three. So it went all the way in. Wow, that was a little bit easier than what I expected. And they said what you can do now is uh, you can measure it to make sure 
that uh, it's all the way in. If you hold a straight line, um, a ruler or something right here and measure it, it should be like an inch from this all the way back in. So I will measure it, but I did feel three clicks and it felt like it went all the way, all the way in. So uh, I'm not gonna make the transmission and the engine today. I'm about to go ahead and end this one. What I'm gonna do is about to go ahead and clean up uh, my next video. I'll go through some other stuff for the transmission. Uh, but for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish cleaning up out here. Uh, the fuel tanks did dry. So, oh, good thing I came outside because it is raining. It started sprinkling. So I'm gonna take the fuel tanks in and put them inside. If this is your first time, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you'll be able to uh, see my videos when I first drop them. Um, and that's it for this one. See you next time.